Freedom Files. Freedom Files. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 to 7. And Saturdays from 9 to 11. Central. On American Freedom Radio. They think in order to make it in this world, they have to have a fake tan. Mm-hmm. They have to have fake boobs. They have to have Botox. And, you know, guys are guilty of this as well. They get Botox yeah. and they, they do things as well. But it, it just shows you the mindset of the people that have been so twisted and manipulated and brainwashed. Uh, it, like you... You, you take these, uh, like the, the big one, the Susan Coleman walk for cancer. You know, those women do that all over the country. Mm-hmm. And when you look at the video takes of these women all gathered, and there's hundreds of them, they'll run and they'll, you know, they're, they've either got sponsors paying so much a mile or however they're doing their fundraising. But they have all of these women, and if you look at the camera, right as they're getting ready to stop, they're all dialed up. They have their hair dyed, mm-hmm. they have their makeup yep. on, they have their perfume going. And I'm, I'm wondering, Gee, you guys, y'all are doing this walk all the time. At one time, have any of you ever stopped to think, maybe it's all this crap we're putting on us that's causing the cancer? And if <laughs> yes. you really want to, you know, you don't have to walk. Just, you know, don't get so dialed up. I yeah. think guys will like you. I mean, really. Yeah. Uh, I think we'd much rather see a woman in her natural beauty mm-hmm. than see a woman dead. Yeah, you I don't mean, want an illusion. Uh, yeah. You, know, you and, don't want to see the makeup and, and then have to take it off. they need to look at. <laughs> they keep, they keep Coyote, talking yeah. about this cure. And all the cure is... Stay away from the things that cause those kind of problems. Well, definitely. I mean, we talked about this a few months ago on the web show, that, uh, that uh, article that came out in England, remember? Oh, yeah. It, had, it talked about every little thing that women put on their bodies, the makeup, the lipstick. The chemicals, right. yeah. Yeah, all these chemicals they put on their bodies Even on a the daily clothes. basis. Yeah. You know, are in time, you know, end up making the situation a lot worse right. for women. So, Well, it's like the fish in the ocean. Yeah, a small amount of pollution is not that big a deal. But you, you're not talking about one incident. You're talking about every day this fish eats. Mm-hmm. And then little by little, he takes it in and takes it in. Yeah, the, the little tiny bit he takes in, if that's all he ever was going to take in, it would never be a big deal. But it's not the case. And it's the same way with people who eat the wrong kind of foods. These people who dump those kind of poisons and chemicals on them all the time. It just, uh, it, you, you, there is no reason to wonder why they get cancers and stuff. They're, they're living in a soup bowl. Pretty much. And that's the sad reality. It's just, I just don't understand it. why. Why do you put so much crap on you? <laughs> and we'll, we'll go into that. Because it's bit. pretty. Yeah, because it's pretty. It Deadly. I like Next putting fish scales will, on my lips. We will be right back. It's Freedom Files on American Freedom Radio. Coming up at the top of the hour, we're going to be talking about herbal remedies and uh, different herbs that are good for you with uh, my dad, Kerry Burns, the host of the hit new web show, The Cannabis Corner, and uh, their new, um, his new uh, episode, the premiere episode, will be airing very soon. We, we, we posted the interview from last week on there, and you know, a couple hundred people have watched it already, and someone else has even kind of cloned it and shared it, and so you've got a couple subscribers already, so it's you. Yeah. So you may be off to a good start there. I wish our band had that kind of success. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And Dad's also in a classic rock band. He's a drummer. But uh, we printed out this uh, article a while back with this you know, hot little chick on the front. And it, it tells you every little thing. So we're going go to go into the details real quick about this article. Now, the first part is shampoo. Okay, You think shampoo would be good for you. You need shampoo, obviously. So what do yeah, you see there? <laughs> most worrying chemicals. There's 15 chemicals in most shampoos. The Culprits being sodium lauryl sulfate, tetrasodium and propylene glycol. I mean, come on, the antifreeze. <laughs> uh, possible irritations to the eye and eye damage can come from these. And, uh, you know, when, that, when you're shampooing your hair and you, and you get some in your eyes and it burns you, there's a there's reason, reason for that why. <laughs> it isn't just saying, hey, your eyeball's clean yeah. now. You know? And to backtrack here real quick uh, into your bio. You're also you have a chemistry degree, so right. so you know exactly what all this stuff is. See, I I only read I can barely read it, so it's better that I have you going over each one because you know exactly what each of these things does specifically. Right. So uh, now we'll, we'll we'll move across to uh, hairspray. Hairspray, and then n- average number of chemicals in hairspray is around eleven, and uh, isophthalates. That's a big one in there. I, these these phthalates, that's the ones that they're having the problems with in the canning and stuff right now that's causing a lot of problems. So, yeah. you know, we're, we're, but the problem is that th- these, you know, if you use this stuff one time, probably never really have well, a problem. Yeah, special with. occasions. Yeah. Three times a day, 365 days a year, and the yeah. average person lives about 70 years if they don't, sure. you know, 
Why are you getting cancers from they won't all be this? I wonder that anymore. It's crazy. And the uh, you know, possible side effects: allergies, irritation to eyes, nose and throat, hormone, hormone disruption. disruption. That's a bad one. Oh Linked to changes in cell, in cell structure. structure. Oh man! I mean, that's come on. insane. It's like when you see these drug ads on the television. You know, you take this little pill for you got a little bit of a, a runny nose or something. Yeah. And the side effects are, you know, bleeding liver and you know, <laughs> yeah. could cause possible death. And, and people, they hear all that and they think, oh, I could take that. That's safe. Oh, yeah, that but never happens. It's really just not in case safe. it happens. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if you want to read along with it, I just put it up on the Freedom Files uh, Facebook page. Cool, so I found the link. So if you so, want to read along, check out FreedomFiles.us. Yeah, if you are a member of the uh, FreedomFiles.us fan page on Facebook, you can uh, look at the photo. So to, uh, you know, go along with us kitties. Uh, moving on now to eyeshadow, 26 chemicals. And there again, the polyethylene terephthalates, uh, these definitely are linked to cancer. They cause infertility, hormonal disruptions, damages to the body's organs. I mean, honestly, <laughs> you really, you, re, you know, how long are you going to be able to put that eyeshadow on if you develop a really serious disease? I mean, and you think people are going to look at you once you start turning yellow from a damaged liver? I mean, the, the truth is, do you really need eyeshadow anymore? Isn't that kind of something that went out with the Egyptians and Romans? Yeah. I mean, does that really make you any better? I mean, I know the, you know, Lady Gaga likes to do it all the time, but I mean, it's more of an extreme thing now. Uh, blusher, blusher, that, you know, makes you blush. Uh, with the uh, 16 chemicals. And you got the ethyl and methyl parabens. You know, those are very common in cosmetics and different types of, of uh, face makeup and stuff. And, and they're not safe. I mean, you'd be joking to think. If you could see the other chemicals and the products that are made from these and in the, in, in what the industry puts out there as a pollutant from the... A lot of these things are, are, are pollutants from industry. And here we are, we're taking them and making makeup out of them and letting people put them on their face, knowing that they're dangerous. But we, it's all about selling those products and making you look good. Yeah, and there's also methoparolin, uh, uh, proliparolin, and uh, the side effects, rashes, irritation, and once again, hormonal, hormonal disruptions. Hormonal disruptions. I mean, come on. Jeez. Well, then you can go get hormone therapy, you know? Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, that's, it, it, the, you think the doctors are telling these women to quit <laughs> yeah. wearing their makeup? Heck no. That's more business. Exactly. It's just like if you, like, you know, play with fire too much. Hey! You know, really, okay. if I was a woman and I was prone to putting makeup on, lots of makeup and stuff, I would demand from that industry today, and they can do it, they, I would demand natural products. I would absolutely well, there anything are, that was chemically synthesized. Yeah. If it didn't, if it was not derived from a natural plant source, I would say the hell with you. Yeah, but and, they binge over well, on the price well, of that stuff. Yeah, well, smart women do that, but you know, a lot of women don't know any better. Moving on to lipstick now, thirty-three chemicals. Thirty-three lipstick. chemicals. Methyl acrylates. Come on, methyl acrylates. Those are dangerous compounds. That's not something to flirt around with. <laughs> Take some of that and. And uh, pour it on you, see what happens. And this is that's an everyday thing. Like hairsprays, maybe every now and then, okay? Eyeshadows every now and then. But most women put lipstick on every day. Lipstick and foundation. That's the primary. Allergies and linked to cancer. I wonder what kind of cancer. Well, they say everything's linked to cancer, but. Well. <laughs> uh, I guess cancer's cancer. It really doesn't matter where it is on your body. You right. Know, it's still I mean, cancer. skin cancers, yeah, you yeah. know, the melanomas, those will kill you quicker than anything. Exactly. You know? uh, foundation, uh, 24 chemicals. Mm -hmm. Polymethyl methyl acrylates again. I mean, I mean, just listen to the name of it. Polymethyl methyl acrylate. Now, come on, people. <laughs> you don't have to be even know what a you know even taking chemistry one hundred and one to to know that that does not sound like a very safe chemical. It's certainly in H two O hydrogen, you know, dihydrogen oxygen. So come on, it's yeah. you got to think about these things. And they they list all the chemicals yeah. on there yeah. on there on right. the bottles. They Most have to now. They're required by law, but it doesn't sound like, hey, these cause cancer. Oh. <laughs> and uh, let's see, the side effects of foundation uh, disrupts the immune system and link to cancer as well. So another wonderful addition to foundation. But it covers up all your flaws and your zits and your freckles. So yeah, you got to wear it. For now, but down the road. Uh, it makes know, them worse. That's what gets me. <laughs> I mean, you see all these Hollywood actors and stuff off camera. They look terrible, and terrible. it's always because of the makeup that they wear. Exactly. It gives them skin problems. Well, some They're of them, constantly some shellacking of them the makeup yeah. on. Some of them do, but when they don't, you know, they they always say well, they it use might the be the right excuse, stuff. You know, but, they use the right. Kit. But and really, if they the, the most adjust, of this makeup even makes your skin worse. A lot of the the 
the blemishes that people get are caused from what the sugars and stuff they're eating in their food. Exactly. If they just watch what they eat, eat the right foods, they really would have a lot less problem with that. That's true. All right, uh, we're uh, up at a break, but uh, when we come back to the top of the hour, we will finish this up. 485 chemicals, people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're finishing it up right after the break. You're listening to Freedom Files on American Freedom Radio. Exposing the lies of the police state. Police do not disperse. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Two-party puppet show. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The mainstream media. And new world order. Who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do. It's Freedom Files with James Burns on American Freedom Radio. Going into the second hour, you are listening to Freedom Files. We are live three days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 to 7. And don't forget about our Saturday night show from 9 to 11 p.m. Central right here on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. Be there. Be there or be square. <laughs> and you don't want to be square because being square is not cool. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, going back into uh, what we were discussing at the uh, at the end of the last hour, we were talking about all these uh, wonderful chemicals women put on their body, a lot of them on a daily basis, unfortunately. Yeah. And uh, we stopped at foundation. Now we're going to pick it right back up with nail varnish, 31 chemicals. 31 chemicals, and there again, loaded up with phthalates. I mean, you know, possible side effects from that. They, there's definitely fertility issues that they've proven, problems in developing in the babies uh, when they're developing in the womb and also as they are born. I mean, yeah. some of these chemicals can carry over. And uh, there again, you guys got to repeat. If you did it one time, it'd probably be okay. But yeah. every day, yeah, exactly. part yeah. of your life routine, yeah. like eating fat every day. If you don't do it, guess what? You don't yeah. gain a lot of weight. There's do a reason it. you're supposed to be in a ventilated area when you're putting that stuff on, you know? Exactly. That stuff, self, I, that, that stuff kills me. I can't even be in the house when people are putting it on. Yeah. Ridiculous. And moving on to one that even we're guilty of, because we, we do this yeah. as well. Some are necessities, I think. Yeah. Uh, deodorant. deodorant. Yeah. Like 15 mm -hmm. chemicals. Yep. And, of course, the side effects of that, they're going to be people that are sens have sensitive skin. It's going to irritate them. Uh, we got, uh, of course, your eyes and your lungs are going to be sensitive. Any, any of your tissues that like that, they're all going to be sensitive to those chemicals. There's no, the, you know, you're... It's like dumping hydrochloric acid in your hand and saying, yeah. oh, it might burn him. It's not going to burn me. <laughs> it's going to itch a little. But, but it does seem to be the lesser of the evils on this, on this page. certainly the lesser yeah. ones, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, it's one that also affects us as well. You know, Side effects include irritation of the skin, eyes, lungs, headaches, dizziness, respiratory problems. Right. Yeah. I mean, if you, but if you sit go, there and then we go oh, sniff the, it, yeah, you're going to get a headache. Go to the <laughs> and, I mean, there's very few women that you find that don't wear perfume. Yeah, yeah, it seems like the that the older they get, they think that they got to empty the bottle on them. And, but <laughs> well, their nose get burned. Like, they can't smell you know, it anymore. We're yeah. talking about 250 to 300 chemicals in each yep. perfume. You know, benzaldehydes. Boy, that's a good one. <laughs> I love those aldehydes. They're just so healthy for you. Uh, come on. Uh, side effects include irritation to mouth, throat, and eyes, nausea, linked to kidney damage. Yeah, love dialysis. That. Oh, boy. See, you know what they need to do? Well, I just realized for all these commercials that they do, they need to do exactly what those those big pharma commercials do. Half of the commercials should be dedicated like side effects. Side includes, effects yeah. include, yeah. yeah. Side effects include your skin sloughing off, and maybe <laughs> you won't look as good to your boyfriend as you thought you did. Okay, yeah. now we're moving on to body lotion. Body lotion. Puts yeah. the lotion in the basket or it gets the hose again. Uh, you know that guy chemicals. ended up on Monk? He did? Yeah, he was, he was playing a cop on Monk. I never <laughs> knew it. But yeah, he wow. plays a cop on Monk. Wow, I didn't know that. Anyway. 32 chemicals when it comes to body lotion. And just like the blushes that we saw, the methyl and para para parabens and propylene glycol, mm -hmm. I mean... Oven cleaner, lovely. Lovely yeah. stuff. Just like taking that oven cleaner and spraying it all over yourself. Yeah, and that, that's the problem, because see, with the blush, you're just putting it on your face, which is bad enough. Yeah. But with a body lotion, you put it all put over your body. your body. Yeah, sometimes More places they don't need there. to put it. Yeah. yeah, rashes, irritation, hormonal disruption... And here's my big one right here, my big one, because this is one that I don't think women should do, period. Mm, I don't either. Fake tans, okay? Yeah. You can get a really healthy tan from, you know, the, that big fiery ball up in the sky. Yeah. Just, Believe just me, that fiery time. ball gives you enough skin and, and you yeah. don't have to pay for it. So we'll talk about fake tans right after this. 
You're listening to Freedom Files on American Freedom Radio. <laughs> 